The National Human Rights Commission has once again converged on Abuja for its monthly review forum on human rights and the 2023 general elections to further examine the critical human rights concerns that occurred before, during and after the electioneering periods. Clearview News' Imifo Nokon was there and now tells us more. The Human Rights Commission boss, who was represented by the project coordinator, Hilary Okbonaya said the forum is to present the Commission's findings during the elections as well as involve a panel of discussants to highlight the human rights concerns as well as possible solutions to the quagmire. In this forum today, we will be focusing on accountability for electoral crimes and human rights violations during and after the 2023 elections. On the issue of accountability for electoral crimes and human rights violation before, during and after the 2023 general elections, stakeholders called on the National Human Rights Commission and other relevant authorities to bring perpetrators of electoral and human rights offenses to book. Inspector General of Police recently forwarded about 215 case files on electoral crimes to the Commission for the prosecution of about 774 cases arrested during the 2023 general elections for various shares of electoral offenses. It is worthy of note that a number of key challenges, including lack of capacity of INEC in terms of power to arrest and investigate electoral offenders, have been identified as militating against effective prosecution and the consequent inadequate prosecution and conviction of electoral offenders. At the last count, INEP told us that they got only 16 case files out of 3,000 from the police. And I don't know how many we are prosecuted. So since we have the representative of the Independent National Electoral Commission, actually a deputy director in the prosecution department, probably who will tell us out of that 16, how many we are prosecuted? and how many we actually convicted, and how many are serving jail terms. Election no doubt has come and gone. The attention has shifted to the judiciary. As a lawyer, we are very optimistic that the judiciary will discharge their responsibility without fear or favor. We need to roll back and think about how we manage our electoral process. And ensure that victims are served justice, regardless of the political, cultural, religious affiliation of their offenders. In its fifth edition of the monthly review forum on human rights violation and the 2023 general elections, project coordinator of the commission, Hilary Bonaya, speaks on issues on the front burner. So for April, most of what happened has to do with the rerun elections across the country. But the one that has captured the mind of many Nigerians is Adamawa, of course. From a human rights perspective, we believe that the action of the electoral uh, commissioner, resident electoral commissioner Adamawa on that day infringed upon the collective human rights of all the voters of the state, no matter who they voted for. Voter suppression was still seen in Imo, in Rivers, and in Kano. The right to freedom of association were heavily abridged in Sokoto and also in Lagos. Imefo Nokun, reporting for Clevinus.